Hi there, Jen Roke here at StampCampWithJen.com. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Summerfield, Florida. I'm trying to get my lighting right, so I'm not too bright. All right, there we go. All right, thank you for joining me for my weekly Facebook Live. I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving weekend. Um, as you're joining, please say hello and let me know how your Thanksgiving went, where you're joining me from. I love hearing from you guys. Um, I've got a, a lot of exciting things to share. As you know, December is almost here. And oh, let me just get rid of this light. It's not really doing anything. All right. December is almost here, and we've got lots of fun things coming up. Um, we have a mini catalog that's about to retire and lots of good deals coming up for December as well. Hi Kay, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Um, so I'm going to flip the camera over here in just a second and I'm gonna, I have a bunch of flyers to show you and I'll kind of explain um, what they all mean. Some are Stampin' Up! promotions, some are Stampin' Storage promotions that are ending soon, and others are things that I am offering um, just by myself. So give me one second. I'm going to go ahead and flip you guys over. I get all my stuff situated. I got a million things on my desk here. I'm going to flip you guys over here and I'm going to show you all my flyers. There we go. All right. So the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is Stampin' Storage has a Cyber Monday sale going on today. If you go to my website, stampcampwithjen.com, I am a Stampin' Storage affiliate, so any purchase you make when you shop with me, I get a little commission, but I love Stampin' Storage products. I use them all the time. I definitely um, vouch for them. They have great products. So today is the last day of their holiday sale that's been going on for the last week. Everything at Stampin' Storage is 15% off. And then if your order is $100 or more, um, you get free shipping as well. And then you can combine that with the Cyber Monday sale that's going on today. They have uh, door busters that are 20% off. It's like some shelves and a few other things. And then orders that are $50 or more get a free gift. So really, if you spend $100, let's say, you'll get free shipping, you'll get 15% off your order, and you'll get a free gift because your order is over $50 as well. And then you can order, you know, if you have any of these door busters in your order and you use this code CM2021, then you'll get 20% um, off those door busters that are listed. So like I said, go to um, my website. I made a post today with all the details for this. And if you click on the links, it explains more about these sales as well. It says shop with me, which you will be able to do, but it'll also explain all of the sale details on those links as well. Hi, Diana. Hi, Sue. Thank you for joining me. I as you're joining me, like I said, I'm just gonna I'm going over some promotions real quick before we get started on today's project. Um, so December first is really exciting because our last chance products go live. So, so most of the items from the July through December mini catalog are retiring. Some are carrying over, so be sure to look at those lists that I have posted and pay attention to which ones are carrying over and which ones are not. And then some of the ones that are retiring will be up to 50% off. So make sure to get those lists ready. So December 1st, when um, these go live, you can get your favorites before they run out. Because these products are always while supplies last. So once they run out, they're gone. They're not going to be restocking them. So make sure to get those as soon as possible. And then my next promotion flyer is one that's through me. So for December, normally I offer a blanket free gift um, and you can only earn one gift for the whole month. Well, in December, I'm doing what I'm calling the 12 days of Christmas. So this schedule here is the free gift for each day. And unlike other months where you can only earn one gift, you can earn multiple gifts through this uh, 12 days of Christmas. So it's only one per day, but for example, if you wanted to place an order December 1st and earn this host stamp set, you could do that 
and then say you want an embossing folder of your choice. So you place another order on December 5th and then tell me which embossing folder you want to earn. Um, and all the orders, they have to be at least $50 before shipping and tax. And then use my host code if your order is under $150. If it's over $150, you'll still get the free gift. Don't use the host code and just enjoy the Stampin' Rewards, which is basically coupons that you get towards free product. Um, and you'll apply those when you check out, okay? So if you have any questions, I know this can be kind of confusing, but if you have any questions, please let me know. So basically... All orders that are at least $50 in December, every day in December, they will get double campfire badges, which is my rewards program. Once you get 10 in a calendar year, you get a $50 shopping spree. Um, I pay for the shipping, the tax, everything. So that will be all through December, you'll get double campfire badges. So that's just, you can earn your free shopping spree twice as fast. So every $50 increment in a single order earns campfire badges. Um, and then... Like I said, you can earn multiple days, you can earn a free gift during my 12 days of Christmas. Normally you can only want, earn one per month. For 12 days of Christmas, you can pick and choose what days you wanna place an order, and as long as your order is at least $50 um, before shipping and tax, you'll earn the free gift of that day, okay? Hi Roberta, thanks for joining me. And then the last thing I want to mention that's coming up is bingo. If you are local and can make it to bingo, I would love to have you join us. Um, you have until uh, Saturday, January 8th to sign up for bingo right here. The cost is $45. We're going to play bingo. You'll get a coupon. We'll do make and takes in between the games. And then the final game is going to be a blackout game where the grand prize is going to be a $50 Stampin' Up! gift certificate. And you'll have the chance to pay for additional blackout cards if you wish. They'll be $5 each and that money will be added to the $50 gift certificate for the winner. Okay. Um... So be sure to be thinking about this. If you're going to be local and you can join us, let me know and get signed up before the window closes, okay? Um, I think that was it. I feel like there was something else I was going to mention and I lost it, but if I think of it again, I will be sure to let you guys know. Okay, so it is craft fair season and... I told you guys I'd try to share craft fair projects as much as I could with you. So this is one that we made um, at Stamp Camp this month because I wanted people to learn how to do it in case they wanted to gift it um, to their friends and family. But these are um, little tear-off calendars that you can get from Tailored Expressions. They come in a pack of 10 for I think like $4 um, on their website. And we made these, they're super easy. I love them because they have this little piece in the middle so you can actually stand it up on your desktop. So, you know, somebody can put it next to their computer. This is great, you know, there's so many people that are working from home now, these would make great Christmas gifts. Um, so you just kind of stick it up there and it stands on your desktop. So what a great Christmas gift these are. And then, let's see if you can tell here, yep. I used my Wink of Stella because I like a lot of glitz and glimmer, but I didn't want to go crazy with the rhinestones, so I just used Wink of Stella on my peach there. So I'm going to show you how to make these, like I said, really quick and easy. Um, it's really just time consuming cutting the pieces if you're making a bunch of them, but it's really not difficult at all. So let's see here. I do have a kit made, so I'll get that out. Like I said, we're using the pe Sweet as a Peach suite of products. And I have all my stamps ready to go on my blocks. I'm going to get my mini machine out. And we're going to die cut that peach as well. Oh, thank you so much, Kay. All right. So we're using Sweet as a Peach and the dies that go with it. And I have a kit. All of these instructions will be posted on my blog tomorrow. And then if you watch the um, the YouTube replay, 
Um, it'll have a link to my blog post as well with all the dimensions if you're looking for that. So this is Balmy Blue cardstock. We have a four and a quarter inch, four and a quarter by 11 inch piece and I just scored it in half. Just like as if you were making a vertical card base. That's all it is, same thing. And so because it is the same size as a card base, I forgot to mention that, you can actually and close it in an envelope. Oh, well, if I can get it in there, there we go. You can put it in an envelope and mail it, which is great too. So I really like that about these. They make great Christmas gifts. Um, I usually, when I sell them at craft shows, I don't include the envelope. Um, you could if you wanted to, but I figure most people are gonna hand them to whoever they're giving them to, so I don't usually do that. All right. And then we have a piece of, we could even use this paper, which is cute, but I usually use paper that's not as busy when I do the backgrounds for these. So I have a piece, I think this is four by five and a quarter, and again, this will all be posted on um, the blog. All the measurements will be on there, as well as the supplies. Oh, and I forgot to mention, for my 12 Days of Christmas, um, the free gifts, you don't have to order Last Chance products. You can order any products you want. It's just your, your order has to be at least $50. Okay? All right, so that's the base with the DSP. Now, this piece, um, i got to go get my scoring tool. So this is the piece that we're going to score and is actually going to go in the middle there to hold it up on the desktop. So hold on one second. still have all my little score marks here from class. I haven't even shifted it yet. <laughs> I wanted to use this Simply Scored in class because I really like um, the definition of the score marks that um, it gives when you use this. So I feel like it's a deeper score when you use the Simply Scored versus like your paper trimmer scoring blade. So that's why um, I chose to do this. So I have my little tick marks here at half an inch one and a half and two and a half inches. And we're gonna put the paper in so it's in portrait here. And then we're just going to score all the way down. Just use even pressure and a straight score. And it's just so much easier to see those score marks. So that's why I like using that Simply Scored. Okay. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it in half, you fold the pieces down, and then you take the outer pieces and fold them up. And that's like, they call it valley, mountain and valley scoring, I think is what that's called. <laughs> it's kind of a weird name, but I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done scoring it here in a second. All right, and you just wanna score and get those nice crisp creases but it kind of looks like a W that way, okay? That's how you want it to be folded. So you fold it down in the middle and then fold those flaps upwards, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take tear and tape. You want a good strong hold for this piece. You want it to really stick to your project and not go anywhere. So we're gonna put tear and tape on the outside of these little flaps right here. We're just using those small flaps and putting a strip of tear and tape there. Okay, and then with tear and tape, I always like to take my bone folder and just rub the tear and tape onto the paper just to make sure that it's really pressed on there, okay? And then we're gonna use the spatula piece of our take your pick tool. And what we're gonna do is just on one side, you don't wanna take both of them off at the same time because it becomes a sticky mess that's really hard to deal with if you do that. So we're gonna take one side off, okay? We're gonna open our card base, and there's gonna be a little bit of a border when we put that piece down. So there's a little bit of a border on the side, the bottom, and the other side. So you just wanna kinda of center it. Doesn't have to be all the way to the bottom. And we'll push it down there. So you can see there's a little bit of an edge all the way around. It's not gonna completely line up and you don't want it to and that kind of gives you a little wiggle room in case you accidentally put it too far to the left or the right. 
um, and it won't show when it's standing up on the desktop. So now we can go ahead and remove the other piece of tear and tape here. And the easiest way I've found is to just kind of hold it off to the side and fold this flap down and then press it straight down. And that's how you get it perfectly centered in your card base. And now it will stand up like it's supposed to, okay? And that's how it looks from the side there. And so I always do this part before adding everything else to the front. I mean, you could add the stuff to the front and then do it. It's just, I don't know, it's kind of easy that way, so. All right, so now we're gonna do a little bit of stamping. And I wanna show you guys, let's see if I can get my scrap here. Okay, I wanna show you, so this was driving me crazy. With this peach, it's one of those like artistic stamps, I think is what they're called, the artistically inked, I believe is what it is. So we're gonna, we're using, I think this is petal pink, and we're gonna ink up our peach here and we're gonna stamp it on our scrap okay now if you look at that it looks like it didn't stamp all the way well that's kind of how it's supposed to look it's supposed to have like this shadow on the side I seriously stamped it like six times and then went and googled it because I thought I wasn't stamping it far enough down but that's all it is is it's supposed to have this lighter side because it looks like a shadow on it um it was driving me nuts though <laughs> because i thought oh my gosh i didn't ink it up enough or whatever no it's supposed to look like that so don't worry you don't nothing's wrong with your stamp if you get it and you think oh great i didn't you know stamp all the way it's fine so we're just going to stamp the leaves off to the side here because we're going to die cut them both and they're separate dies so you don't have to stamp them right together so we used pear pizzazz for the leaves and then petal pink for the peach okay so i'm going to grab my mini machine and we'll use that to die cut our peach it's just so cute So unfortunately, still, with um, the stamp and cut and boss machine and the mini machine, they don't have a magnetic plate just yet, so we actually have to use washi tape to hold our dies down um, to make sure they don't move. So I really hope that Stampin' Up! is almost done fixing it, but um, they haven't told us yet that it's fixed, so as soon as I get any word I'll be sure to let you know but as of right now um, they still have not fixed the problem with the magnetic piece so and that's all right we just used uh, washi tape in the meantime all right so with our dies you see all the plates they all have the little recipes the sandwiches on the bottom so with dies we need a number one plate and then two number twos so we'll put a number two down, we'll get our peach, and then our dies, I have our dies out here. All right, we'll line those up, and then I'll take this washi tape and break it up into bits here. Oh, that was the other thing I was gonna tell you guys. So catalogs, if you have ordered from me in the last year, you or have attended one of my stamp camp classes you will be getting a mini catalog and a celebration brochure from me for free okay i think that's good um i will be sending out an email probably tomorrow with um to all the people that should be expecting a catalog so if you think that you should be getting a catalog, be sure to check your email tomorrow, um, probably around lunchtime sometime. And if you don't get an email from me, but you think you should be getting a catalog, then definitely um, email me at stampcampwithjen.com and let me know. I may have just 
um, made a mistake and overlooked it. So just let me know and I will be sure to double check it for you. If you haven't ordered from me and you would like a catalog um, and you're planning on placing an order, then reach out um, to me at stampcampwithjen at gmail.com and let me know that you'd like a catalog and um, I'd be happy to send you one. So just let me know. Um, do keep in mind, I do have to pay for these catalogs. So I will send you one, but you'll have to pay for the shipping for it. So it's $5 for shipping. I don't send them for free to people unless they've ordered from me. So if you want a catalog um, and you haven't ordered from me yet, you will have to pay for the shipping. So just keep that in mind. Oh my gosh, my washi tape is super sticky. This is new washi tape, so it's sticking to my peach here, but that's okay. We'll make it work. Just make sure you don't use really sticky washi tape like I did. <laughs> All right. But yes, I do love sending catalogs to you guys. Um, and I definitely, for my customers, I send them catalogs for free. But, you know, it's expensive and I do have to pay for the catalogs. So if you haven't ordered from me and you want one, then you will have to pay for the shipping. Um, but once you place an order, you'll get catalogs for free. So if you know that you want to get a free catalog, just place an order and you'll be on my list. Okay. All right. So we've got our peach now. So now we can do some more stamping. So this um, scallop frame is from the scallop, the contours dies. And then we are going to end up popping our peach on here. So before I pop it up, I'm going to do my stamping first just to make sure that it's how I want it um, before I start adhering everything to it. So we're going to take Balmy Blue ink and we're using the stamp that says, hope your day is, and then the second one says, as sweet as a peach. So we're going to do, hope your day is, as, and then we'll do sweet as a peach. Perfect, I like it. So now that I know I didn't mess it up and need to restamp, now we can take some dimensionals and pop up our peach and our leaves. So I'm just gonna put some pieces on the back here. And actually, what I found was even easier as if you kind of glue these two together. So I think I'm going to do that first. I forgot about that. When you have to pop up a bunch of things, sometimes, especially when you have little pieces, sometimes it's a little bit easier to just kind of stick some glue on it, make it one big piece. And that's a little easier to handle. So we're going to do that. I think we did that in class too, if I remember right. All right, just a little bit of glue in there. And now we have one cohesive piece that we can put a bunch of dimensionals on and stick it all up. And that'll kind of dry as we're messing with it too. There, that should be good. I'm running out of dimensionals here. All right, so we're gonna put that on. I love craft fair season. I have some lovely ladies that come to my craft, my stamp camp uh, classes, and one of them is a new team member of mine, and they both are good friends, and they're going, um, they actually have their own craft fair that they're doing this weekend, and my mom and I get to go and see all their craft fair goodness, so we're super excited about that. And then um, the next day we're going to University of Florida, which is about an hour north of here. Um, my daughters live nearby, and my mom and I are going to go up there and see um, that craft fair. And we're going to, it's a huge craft fair in the stadium at the college there. It's really cool. So we're excited to go up there. And then I took my daughter there before, after a couple years ago, after I first moved down here. And we just loved it. And then we went out to lunch. We made like a whole day of it. It was really fun. So I love doing that kind of stuff. And we got some good Christmas presents. They always have good Christmas presents at those. All right. So this is just a piece of basic white. And we're just using that as a little bit of a frame for our calendar here. And then we're going to take that whole frame. 
and stick it on the bottom. Just kind of center it towards the bottom there because as you see, this frame takes up quite a bit of the top. So we just, I like to just kind of lay it down to see about where it needs to go. And then I can kind of position my calendar at the bottom there. And because this calendar is kind of bulky, we can pop up this frame without worrying about it being um, too bulky because it's gonna be exactly as tall as the frame piece, at the calendar at the bottom. So you don't have to worry about that. All right, almost done. And we made these at Stamp Camp and you know I think people really enjoyed them. They're great, great gifts. All righty, almost there. Lots of dimensionals. <laughs> you never have too much too many dimensionals in my opinion. I love them. I want to make sure that project sticks up too. Hi Leslie, I see you sneaking in there. Say hello. How is your how's your Thanksgiving going? Or how was it, I guess? It's over now. It's Christmas time. We just put our tree up today and I was so excited. I have a big glittery tree. My husband said the tree about glitter bombed him. He had all kinds of glitter all over his beard and his arms and <laughs> it was cracking me up. All right, so as you can see, like I said, it's it's all popped up, but with the calendar bulk and everything, it kind of evens out. So the last little flourish that we're gonna do is we're gonna get our Wink of Stella pen here. And like I said, I just like a lot of glitz and glimmer. So I'm just gonna make a sparkly peach and leaves and just color all over that so you get that little bit of extra shine. I tried adding dimensionals, but that seemed like a little bit too much when I did that. So I just instead chose to go over the peach um, with the Wink of Stella pen. It's a little bit more subtle, but you still get all that glitz and glitter and glam. It's very nice. And you can kind of tell that it's, it is very subtle even when you're trying to color, it's hard to see sometimes, but you'll notice the ink getting a little bit darker and kind of sparkly and that's how you can tell. And that's it. That's our little desktop calendar there that we did for Stamp Camp. These make great craft fair um, projects, especially this time of year when people are looking for Christmas gifts that are really easy to um, give to people. So, um... These are really great. You can make a bunch of them really quick and easy and package them up. And they're easy to travel with if people are going out of town and stuff. Thank you so much, Kay. I'm glad you enjoyed them. All right, guys. Well, that's it for me. Thank you so much for joining me. I love that you guys join me every week. Um, be sure, um, if you need any supplies from this project, to um, purchase them in my online store and don't forget to check out my 12 days of christmas and those last chance products and get those wish lists ready for wednesday december 1st all right guys well be safe and until next time happy stamping bye